Hi, my name is Laura and this is my partner Matt. We've flown to Tasmania, hired a camper van and been giving the hashtag van life a go around the holiday island. On our last video, we left Cradle Mountain and drove our way all the way to Launceston. And there we went on the world's longest single span chairlift. We spent the night at a caravan park and were lucky enough to be greeted by two horses in the morning. Let's see what we get up to next. <laughs> oh yeah. Everywhere we go, <laughs> everywhere we go. Good morning guys. Do you like my beanie? <laughs> we got it from Cradle Mountain, Tasmanian Devil. It is another day of our hashtag van life tour. We're in Launceston, we've come out to City Park. We've just had brekkie. Um, hey. Over there. Yes, we just had Bricky. Anyway, we just left our caravan park and the caravan park gave us a little map and the map had a picture of a monkey on it. So we've learned there's monkeys at the city park. So random, but we come to see. What the world is baboons. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just reading the sign and the sign says like why monkeys? And essentially there had been like an animal enclosures in this area since the late 1800s um, and they just decided to keep one. So at first I said baboons but they're not baboons. I don't know how to pronounce it but it's like makai? Ma ma I don't know how to pronounce it. Essentially these are the Japanese snow monkeys. Um, Tasmania is a very cold environment so it's obviously the right environment for them. They look a little bit like baboons though don't they? Aww. Okay, completely random, but it was free. Um, so if you're in Launceston, come to City Park and go see some Japanese monkeys. But let's head on to the next part of our road trip. Pretty. We have made our way out to Lilydale to go check out a waterfall. So it's actually about a half an hour drive just outside of Launceston. So pretty. Just off to the side. Oh, so pretty. So we've walked our way up to the top of the falls. Yeah. We're just going to follow the pathway to see where it leads. So the pathway is really muddy and rocky, but it does lead out to these beautiful little boardwalks that are very slippery. <laughs> Check out the fungus. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, wow. This walk is actually quite 
decided to do is we pulled into a little town called Kempton it's just off the Midland Highway that runs through the center the whole idea is we've decided to try and come down south so we can get a little bit closer towards the Hobart area as we are coming into the end of our trip we found this beautiful little spot it is a stopover I think it's like maximum for two nights you can stay here for free um, and it has power so how it works is so there's power and water hookups um they just ask that you only use like one cord per site i wouldn't be surprised if we're going to be the only two people here anyway um there's a toilet block that has showers um it's locked and then there is a free one across the road that just has toilets um essentially they're both kind of the same distance from each other because the camping area is just over there but we decided to pay so we went to the council office it was ten dollars to be able to use the showers for the night and then you had to put down a twenty dollar deposit because you get given a your own key to get into the toilet block which is um essentially why it's so clean so we've decided to do that so we can have nice warm showers tonight um and we'll just camp here for the night and hopefully tomorrow get that little bit closer into town so this looks like a little um little historical town lots of very very old houses but we're surrounded by lots of farms and probably also a lot of hobby farms as well so it's a cute little spot so there's a little park across from where we've camp set up camp for the night we've already tested out the playground what's going on here <laughs> anything that's how you do it <laughs> The Mr. Bean. <laughs> and this is where we are. So there's a water hookup, there's rubbish bins, there is power, which is great. So I can charge my camera and my phone while I'm sleeping and a donation box. Um, we've already paid $10, so we don't have to donate, the lady said, but it's there if you'd like to. Yeah. This looks like a good little spot to stay if you have kids, because there's a pump track. Uh, it's a bit, a bit destroyed, but... A bit destroyed, but... Kids will make use out of this anyway. I don't think I ever finished my video after last night. Essentially, we got to our next camp. We snuggled up in the van and relaxed for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>